Well, I hope this means that you're persuadable, Lady Edith. I'll think about it. I promise. I just felt I had to meet you and see what it would be like. I assume your father disapproves. Well, it's the business of parents to worry, isn't it? No, no, no. All sorts of toffs are writing for, for magazines nowadays. Some of them even uh, advertise face creams and cigarettes and the rest of it. I'm afraid Papa would not find that reassuring. <laughs> In fact, if he were here, he'd probably just shout, run. Will you please make up your own mind without his advice? I'll have to think about that, too. You going back to Yorkshire tonight? No, I'm staying with my aunt. I've got to look into the offices of the lady while I'm here. Not to write for them, I trust. Oh, no. It's just something I promised to do for my grandmother. Lady, that's... Uh... Cotton Garden. Here's an idea. Let's uh, let's have lunch tomorrow at Rules. If you accept the job, we'll celebrate. If it's a no, I'll drown my sorrows. How's that? <laughs> I was afraid you'd stood me up. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It took much longer than I thought. What was it about? Oh, just family stuff. An errand for my grandmother. You, uh, you're very family-minded. Well, you know, when you live at home with your parents, you're still in the middle of all of it. Yes, I saw a picture in the paper of your elder sister's wedding. She looked very glamorous. People say so. Am I allowed to say I'm rather pleased you're not married? Here you are, madam. I'm a little less pleased. Oh, dear, it sounds like you're hiding a romantic secret. Not too romantic. A little while ago, I was jilted at the altar, which wasn't much fun. Oh, dear, I am sorry. Oh, please don't be. It's a relief to be reminded I'm not an object of pity to the entire world. Well, I've clearly put my foot in it, and now you'll turn the job down. <laughs> please don't. I won't. Not if you don't want me to. Ah. I'm sorry if this is inconvenient. It's unexpected. Not inconvenient. I suppose I'd better just say it. Please do. I had the impression on my last visit that you were flirting. Giving signs that you found me attractive. If I'm wrong, then I apologise. You're not wrong. But since then, I have discovered that you are, in fact, married. Yes. I'm afraid I find the idea of a married man flirting with me wholly repugnant. So you'll see, I must hand in my resignation at once. No, it's, it's true, I am, I am married, but I, I hope you'll allow me to explain. Explain what? I am familiar with the institution of marriage. Yes, but not with this one. My wife is in an asylum, and she has been for some years. Lizzie was a wonderful person, though I loved her very much. It took me a long time to accept that the, the woman I knew was gone and wouldn't be coming back. Then... Why haven't you got a divorce? I can't. A lunatic is not deemed responsible. She's neither the guilty nor the innocent party. It means that I'm tied for the rest of my life to a, a mad woman who doesn't even know me. I can't begin to tell you how much it cheers me to, to read your column and, and to meet. When we do, I hope very much you'll consider staying on. Come and meet my parents. Hey. Mama, Granny, Papa. This is Mr. Gregson. Lady Grantham. You know, I started to read your magazine because of Edith's column, but now I wouldn't miss it. It puzzles me why you choose to employ amateurs like my daughter. I agree. Well, is the distinction very meaningful? Surely the most important thing is whether or not people have something to say. Come and meet my sister Mary. Matthew's asked me to go out stalking with him tomorrow. So I thought I would. Michael, can I ask you why you're here? Tell me the truth, please. Well, I want to get to know your family. What do you hope to achieve? I, I thought if they knew me, if, if they came to like me, I, they might find it easier to, 
be on my side. It won't change the basic facts, though, will it? Edith, my, my basic fact is that I'm in love with you. You know that already. Do I? Yes, I suppose I do. I, I want you in my life. And I want to be in yours. That's all very well, but... I just can't see a happy ending. Edith, dear, stop fascinating that young man and come and make a four at bridge. This is very lovely. Shouldn't you be at the office? Aunt Rosamond's sending her car. I've missed you. I haven't stopped thinking about you for one moment. Well, I'm here now. I couldn't be more thrilled, because I've got some new... Well, no, not new. It's more an idea. Go on. Well, I've done some research, and I've discovered that not every country is the same as England. You amaze me. No, no, I mean, there are places where lunacy is grounds for divorce, like Portugal and Greece and even Germany. But wouldn't you have to live there? No, no, I'm just finding out what's involved. But if I did live in Germany, would you come with me? Oh, hello, Burns. This is Burns, Aunt Rosamond's chauffeur. Good afternoon, milady. Can I give you a lift? No, no, I'll take a taxi. It's the opposite direction. I'll see you tonight. Time to think about what I said. You mean our living in sin? We'd only live in sin, as you call it, until the divorce. Don't you want to be with me? You know I do. More than anything. Um, is there any more gin, sir? We're no, running rather low. Yes, I'll, uh, I'll have a look. Feels so wild. Be out with a man, drinking and dining in a smart London restaurant. Can you imagine being allowed to do anything of the sort five years ago? Never mind ten. The war changed everything. Mama used to say we could never eat anywhere public, except an hotel we were staying in. She might cheat and take us to the Ritz, but that was about it. <laughs> I do love you so. Do you? Mm. I'm glad. Is that what we're celebrating? Uh, that and my progress. I found out I can divorce Lizzie in Germany if I become a German citizen. You're willing to become a German citizen? For me? You'd do that? I'd become an Eskimo if it meant I could marry you. But Germany? After four years of fighting, you'd join the most hated race in Europe for me. Can I kiss you? Not here. In front of all these people. I don't care. Kiss me. Now. <laughs> 